My name is also naughty and welcome back to a brand new video on today's channel in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to make an awesome banner just like you guys see on the screen right now So let's go ahead and get into it So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is download this app called screener now screener is something that is gonna Help you guys make the foam border and uh, yeah, that's about it. So Let's go ahead and look up some. So I looked up HD pictures on Google. So that's something you guys are going to want to do. And scroll down until you find a picture that you guys want. So I kind of like this image. Oh, wait. No, you want... We're going to use this sea turtle. I think the sea turtle looks really nice. So we're going to go ahead and just hold on to the picture. And we're going to download this image. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it just yet. If you find the photo that you guys want, you guys are going to want to look up channel art now channel art is something you definitely want to look up because that's how you can actually find what's the guidelines of the youtube channel art after you gotten both of those photos you guys want to open the screener app as you guys can see it's showing you guys all of the stuff that you guys need to know how to use and allow it to ex uh, access all the files and everything so you got two sections you've got the phones and you've got the watches but uh, I like the phones, obviously, because that's what we're going to be using. And uh, you got 3D, which the 3D is only limited to certain phones. Let's scroll down until we find the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's just right there. So if you guys can see on the very top up there, it is right there. So once you open it, you got all these options right here. The plus button is obviously the screenshot that you've probably have already taken. So obviously, you I screenshotted my YouTube channel. So the little lighting effect right here because it makes the phone look really nice, as you guys can tell. This is uh, just a little drop shadow, which I think it looks pretty ugly on the phone. So I don't really like that. But if you guys do like it, well, you guys could use it. So I don't like using it, so we're just going to skip that step. And right here, you've got the crop tool. Uh, it just kind of crops it down of the screenshot that you use. have the paint thing, which you can change certain colors of the background, obviously. But you want to make it transparent. So you guys can see right there at the bottom has the checkerboard. You want to press that, and now your background is transparent. Now, once you're done with the phone border, you guys want to go up to the top right-hand corner when it says... Uh, right next to the Samsung Galaxy S Edge. Um, click the arrow with the box around it, and you want to click Save. So the next step you guys are going to want to do is, obviously, you guys can see, I just put black bars over the tops of the channel art image just to make it look a bit more professional. But right before you start doing any of it, you want to make sure that the image size up here is 2048-1152. Once you have that, then you can start doing whatever you want to do with it. I like to add a little bit of an empty layer and kind of just fill in the stroke with white. Because I feel like that looks way better than seeing that. So I like to add the white image with it. But it's all about personal opinion. Alright, so now you're absolutely ready to start making the channel art. So you want to go to photo layer and go to whatever you have. So we're going to go to... The image of this first, you know what, we're going to download this because it's the first one we downloaded. And you kind of want to just adjust it to the right size. You got your channel art basically, that's basically what it's going to look like. But now you want to do the little foam border. So you want to go back to photo layer, go and click out of that and go to screener and it should have your screenshot right there. You want to add to that. And you kind of have to play around with this, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little time lapse to kind of just, you know, try to play around with it until I get it about perfect as it can be. Alrighty guys, so that's basically uh, what it is. It's, it's not that hard at all. Um, if you guys want to kind of, I don't know, probably play around with the settings to kind of do what you want to do. I don't know. It's really up to you, whatever you guys like. Sometimes I like adding a layer, like a drop shadow or something like that. to kind of pop out the phone text like by 100%. So, uh, yeah, I think that looks really good as it is. Um, I'll probably just 
I don't know. Uh, probably do some. I'll put probably put this back on top because I don't think that looks really good at all. Um, but yeah, this is kind of something you guys are probably gonna have to probably have to do for yourself. I'll uh, probably make the saturation probably a lot brighter. Uh, yeah, that looks really good. Um, I'll probably do that and probably play around with the settings, make it look a lot better than it does. Probably up that a little bit, drop the blue down. Yeah, that looks really good right there. So, uh, I don't know. I think that looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. Alright, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.